Now most people recognize worldwide the old classic symbol of the old-fashioned pocket watch connected to a length of chain. And they're used to the idea of hypnotists suspending that pocket watch from the chain and doing the whole, oh, your eyes are getting sleepy routine. In reality, it doesn't really get used very much by hypnotists worldwide today. But one tool that does is the Chevrolet's pendulum. And it's very similar in its construction. This is one example of a Chevrolet's pendulum. 11, 12 inches of jeweler's chain, in this case with a about three quarter inch acrylic ball connected to one end. Now you can purchase these. I happen to know a guy who sells them at buyhypnosisproducts.com. But if you wanted to make your own, you also could as well. You could take something simple like your own car keys and tie it off to a length of string. Uh, some people like to use real crystals and connect them to jeweler's chain. They're a little more nice, earthy, organic looking. That's cool. Um, the nice thing about the acrylic ones is that for some of the exercises that you'll do with the Chevrolet's Pendulum, it's nice to be able to see through the acrylic to whatever point you're focusing on when you use it. So that's kind of cool. I like to use these, um, but like I said, if you want, you can make your own. Uh, <clears throat> they're named after the French chemist Michel Eugène Chevrolet, who lived to be over 100 years old, was born in the late 1700s and lived into the late 1800s. He was a dedicated scientist and uh, during his time there were other chemists out there who were practicing uh, really what was kind of like dowsing. You know the, uh, the, the, the belief that some people can use dowsing rods to find water? Almost like that, there were chemists who were using pendulums with different chemical compounds and they thought that by the way the pendulum would swing, uh, the energy that was being transferred between the substance and the pendulum, they thought they could determine the chemical composition of substances by using pendulums. Uh, Chevrolet was really, really concerned with charlatanism in his time. He was a very dedicated professional. And so he started studying this practice and he debunked it with some other scientists. And what they discovered was that actually what was happening was idiomotor response. The idea that a person's own ideas in their head was influencing subtle muscular movements and directing the movement of the pendulum. So in uh, his case, the scientists who were using pendulums had an idea of what they thought the chemical composition of the substance was and so they were without even necessarily being consciously aware of it they were directing the pendulum to move in a way that affirmed their own suspicions about that chemical composition. As Chevrolet discovered this more and more, he did lots of different tests and studies, and he discovered that just by having certain thoughts, you could change the way a pendulum would move and swing. So the first thing we're gonna do before we get into how to actually do this, to practice idiomotor response, which is a great way to test suggestibility when you're working with clients, we need to talk about how to actually have a Chevrolet's pendulum. So I already told you how you can make one, but the other thing you're gonna want is a target that you can use with people. Something nice and big and uh, that, that people can look at visually that looks kind of like a, a scope uh, for a rifle. Um, now you can, if you have software that makes shapes, you can take a nice 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and just print out, make a nice big circle on a, like a Word document or any kind of software that lets you do graphic design and then drop a vertical line and a horizontal line in over that circle so that you get this. If you don't have software that'll do that, just grab a blank 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, grab a dinner plate, a dish plate from your cupboard that will fit on that paper, trace a circle around it, then grab a ruler or a cutting board from your kitchen, some kind of nice straight edge, and put a vertical line across one half of it, a horizontal line across the other half, and you've got your target. You use this with people to get them to have something to focus on and think of that helps them create an idea in their mind that will enhance their muscular movements and create the movement, the idiomotor response, with the Chevrolet's pendulum. Okay, so again, Purchase yourself a Chevrolet's pendulum or make one using car keys, padlock, length of string, small length of chain. Create a target for yourself using computer software or <laughs> a dish uh, from your cupboard and a straight edge like a ruler or a cutting board and a pen or pencil or marker. And uh, you've got pretty much everything you need. Check in with us next and we'll talk about what to actually do with your Chevrolet's pendulum and your target.